Steve here from Showrooms Online and we're in Shefford in Devon. Now this is a consortium development of luxury homes. Now one part of this development is being done by Bovis Homes and this is their development just self-named Shefford. Now this house side behind me is the Haybrook four bedroom three story. You can see how beautiful the architecture is. You've got those lovely big pillars, the railings up to it, the sash windows and that beautiful creamy colour that they that the renders in. So without further ado, let's go and take a look inside. Hello Emma. Hello. Welcome to the Haybrook by Bovis Homes yes. at Sherford Village. That's right, and it's a four bedroom. Or town. Good year town. Yes. Sherford's a great place, isn't it? Just on the outskirts oh, of Plymouth. It's the most amazing place. In Devon. It really is. The houses are stunning. Architectural yeah. masterpieces. Beautiful. So, what have we got here then? This is the hallway. Yes, typical beautiful Bovis house. These houses are on an epic scale, aren't they? Yeah. They're just stunning. Yeah. So anyway, we've got right. a hall here with a big, yeah. tall ceiling there. Look as you can yes. see. Oh yes. Right. Okay. We'll take a look in the kitchen first of all. So then. the Haybrook's a four bed, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah. So, dimensions, 3 metres 35 by 3 metres 30. So it's a breakfast kitchen then, isn't it? There's yeah, room it for is. a table. Uh, if you want it. So you've got your, your oven and grill there, you've got fridge and freezer. Oh, I'll just stand here by the fridge for a bit. It's so hot today. Unbelievably hot. I'm roasting. Right, you've got some integrated appliances. Dishwasher. Um, what have we got? There's your washer dryer. Plenty of cupboard space. This house got a beautiful high gloss, mm -hmm. white high gloss kitchen. Very nice clock. Hot point appliances, yeah. and uh, you can see we've got plenty of switches there, um, switches and sockets. It's lovely. They've got a gas burner there with uh, with six rings. Great. I always like the middle one. And we've got a bank of drawers underneath with the soft clothes. Well, we've got two sash windows here, beautiful, and we're actually looking onto the main street, aren't we? We are. Yes. So you've got a lovely view while you're having a cup of coffee in the morning or cooking the dinner. Yeah, and these big tall ceilings, look, look at those. Very, very nice. Mm. Lovely. Right, so back into the hall. We've got a space there under the stairs. Whatever you want to put under there. We've got downstairs cloakroom. Yeah. That's a good size. It is. It starts ceiling. It just makes it just so epic, doesn't it? I mean, you could seriously hang a chandelier for in your WC, couldn't you? You could. You know. But it but, is actually quite wide. Yeah, and tall. Anyway, um, you've got the you've got the ideal standard sink, uh, toilet, push flush there, little radiator as well. Actually, it's nice and cool in here, but it's great scale. Got another door here. So this is a little understairs cupboard there. Quite a bit of room in there. Get some shelves up in there mm. for that little bit it's of extra stuff. And just sort of look at this detail in here. I just want to sort of let you look up the top there. You can see the scale of this house. It just goes up and up and up. And that little bit of detail in here. See that? Lovely. So here at the rear, on the plan, this is called the family and dining room. Yeah. So you have got a space for your dining table area for seating you've got your french doors there out into the garden but you've got french doors and a separate set of windows there so you haven't yes. got the normal the sash windows that you've got at the front but you've got normal opening windows which are fine but this isn't the only sitting room in the house no in here there is a cupboard and it's got your cylinder in it's a large cupboard actually. yeah so there is a bit of additional storage space in there as well yeah there's the cylinder Phew, that is, that's a big boy, it was a big house. Well, it has to go somewhere, doesn't it? So what have we got on the table here, Emma? This looks like the 
interior design um mood board for this house isn't it mm. it looks really nice look at that isn't it fab fab look at that fab actually they've been made into placemats that's quite unique we always like to look at the pictures don't we Try to sort of sort of spin about the story. We were offered yeah. once to actually appear in one of those pictures, weren't we? So is this the Haybrook family? Are they all the same people? Potential families. It's a large family, though, isn't it? it but are they all the same people, though? Well, I think the couple there are the same. Yeah. The children are the same. So let's yeah. figure it out then. So these two. Grandparents. Grandparents. Yeah. I'd say. Child. The their children. Yeah. Family dog. Their children. Family dog, well, very Lovely. good. That's but pretty cool. <laughs> any type of family, any type of person could live here. Yes, it's, it's a, a family very home. Adaptable house. It certainly is. Right, we need to go up to the first floor. See what's going on. We'll start at the rear then. This is bedroom four. Okay. Which is the smallest of the four bedrooms? So they've dressed it as a single room. But it could be an office, could be anything you wanted. Dimensions for bedroom four, two metres 87 by two metres 70. And next door we've got bedroom three, two metres 87 by two metres 52. So both bedrooms have got a single window, haven't they? Yeah. One window each. So we've got a bathroom on this level now. So we've got... It's an internal bathroom. Yes, it is. So we've got the, the ideal standard sinks, and uh, these and the, and the toilet, toilet, both yeah. push flush as well. We've got the taps that are in, in the centre part of the bath. If you want to share a bath, that's perfectly good for that. And also a, a shower on there. And we, that runs off the boiler, so that's always nice hot water, hot water for that. And sneaking in at the back here, we have a nice white towel rail. Can't beat that, can you? Very nice tiling as well there. A door here. Oh, it's a cupboard. Plenty of cupboard space, isn't there? There is, yeah. yeah. Okay, so on this level we also have a sitting room. It's beautiful. So you've got two windows that face the front. Dimensions for in here are 5 metres 30 by 3 metres 32. Very, very warm today. Yeah. Isn't it? And th this this particular house has got the um the Victorian you detail just, outside. Yeah. You you can just see the um the ironwork in there, which is really nice. You can't really see it you from the outside you'll be able to see it in a little bit more detail. Yeah, we'll show you some pictures of the yeah. actual frontage. But we've got lockable space. sash windows, two nice big sash windows there, letting lots of light into this room. So we've got another stair case now. Up to the second floor then. Okay. Oh yes, we're in the dizzy heights of this house now. Right. I think we start at the rear. Okay. So big standalone wardrobe in this room. So what bedroom are we in, Emma? Bedroom two. Bedroom two. So here you're above the bedrooms and. Yep the downstairs sitting room aren't you? Dimensions for bedroom two, 5 metres 30 by 2 metres 92. Very nice. So your 530 is actually the width of the house. So that's the same all the way down. Yeah. Very, very nice. We have an ensuite. Both the bedrooms on this floor have an ensuite. Very nice tiling in that ensuite, may I just say. Um, take a look at that texture on there. That's quite nice. But um, anyway, we have a shower cubicle here, a double one. Again, um, the shower running off the boiler. The reason why I say that is because some shower homes have electric showers, so we just have to kind of, you know, say that. So you've got a suspended toilet and sink there, and the typical Bovis push flush. Very decent sized room. 
But actually, this space here would lend itself very well to fitted wardrobes, wouldn't it? Right yeah, across. Yeah, that's Seems crying out for lots it. Lots of extra storage. Yeah, there. definitely crying yeah. out for it. Yeah, so the boiler's in there, um, tucked away in there, and that's just above the stairs. Good location for it. Yeah. But always useful to have cupboard yeah. space, isn't it? So this is bedroom one then. This is your master bedroom. Dimensions, four metres 59 by three metres and seven mil. And actually they've showed you what it would look like with the fitted wardrobe, yeah. the full length, all that additional storage. You've got a loft access in here. Yeah. Got a beautiful big bed in here, haven't they? Yeah, they've got two, two, two sash windows. Two windows, yeah. yeah. And it's got its own ensuite. Yeah. So, we'll have a look at the ensuite. So, again, has like pretty much the standard of the last um, w ensuite we looked at, exactly the same standard. And, and tiling. <laughs> Those pretty consistent, aren't they, with yeah. the sanitary wear? So, this is your bathroom. So, as I said, both bedrooms on this floor have an ensuite. But there is an additional bathroom as well, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Wow. Yeah, what a great house. Not disappointed at all. No, no, no. The beautiful four bedroom Haywood. Hay yes. Haybrook. Haybrook. Haybrook yeah. by Bovis Homes. At Sherford. Yes. A growing town in Devon. So all of this information, all the dimensions, everything we've talked about will be in the description box down below, along with some information about Sherford, some general information about this part of Devon. Yeah. Uh, so don't forget to check that out. And it really is a growing community, isn't it? It's going to have schools. Uh, uh, it's even going to. It's actually a market town. Yeah. Um, so it's going to have its. Oh, it's going to be some beautiful. amazing things yeah. coming here. It's so early days yet. I mean, they're only not even a quarter of a way into yeah. what the development's going to be. But what Five, a five and a half thousand homes yeah. overall. Well, but what a great time it's completed. what a great uh, time to move in on the earlier yeah. phases, you know, so you yeah. can get you know, get yourself settled in and everything. And the house prices are really good as well here. Yeah. Um I mean I'm talking in comparison to some other places in the UK. But um to be able to live in Devon. Yeah. As well. Yes. Beautiful. What a place to retire to as well. Absolutely. Anyway, we will catch you very soon on our next video. Bye bye. Bye.